Hey, what's going on guys? This is Two Step Productions and I'm back with another uh, Minecraft video. And today I have a video about uh, piston conveyor belts in Minecraft. So recently, Etho uh, from Etho's Lab YouTube channel uh, put out a video where he was talking about how he discovered a new mechanic with pistons in the Minecraft 1.9 uh, snapshots, specifically 15W50A, which is what I'm in right now where if you get stuck inside a piston head, uh, as it retracts, it will pull you through the piston, as you can see here. So I get pulled through the piston, and uh, that opened up the possibility for a conveyor belt. Uh, as you can see, I have built here, uh, which he actually, this is his design that he had uh, with just one slight modification to it. Um, but, so he, built this design where if you line up these pistons like uh, this as you get pulled through one the next will pull or the next one will pull you through it and it will bring you all the way down the line uh, to the end like a conveyor belt or a moving sidewalk sort of thing so let me uh, show you what that looks like and unfortunately he was running into this same issue where it wasn't going all the way so it would stop halfway through or after only doing maybe three uh, of the pistons. So, uh, and sometimes it worked as well, but with his design, which was um, just one tick repeaters, sending a one tick pulse all the way through um, and hitting each piston one after another, um, he was running into that issue where it wasn't being very consistent. So I worked at it a bit and I came up with a fix for uh, his design. And what this does is it puts a monostable circuit, uh, which just shortens the length of the pulse um, before the signal hits each piston. So there's two ticks of delay in between each piston, which slows it down and makes it more consistent. Um, but then the piston still gets a one tick pulse because of the monostable circuit. Uh, so what happens is the signal hits this block, the uh, sticky piston, or the repeater hits this block, the sticky piston goes up so that the block's now here and the signal only passes through for one tick. And that one tick pulse is what is hitting this uh, piston. And so that timing is very important uh, to make it work. And as you can see, uh, let me turn the sound down a bit, uh, just so that oops, uh, so that it's not too loud for you guys, and you can still hear me talking. Uh, so, as you can see, my design's very uh, consistent. I'm able to go all the way around this loop, and I can even turn corners in it. And I've been testing it for about uh, maybe an hour or two now, and I haven't had it mess up on me once. Uh, so if I wanted to I could just stay here forever and it would carry me all the way around this loop um, And due to the design uh, Very small change that I made. It's now very consistent. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna get out of here And let me just stop it from going around again uh, So as you can see um, Or as you saw it was very consistent uh, worked every single time uh, I could have gone around forever if I had just stayed in there. Um, and it's a really a simple fix. Unfortunately, it means it's a bit more expensive of a design. Uh, but all you need is that sticky piston there. And that'll bring up the block. And uh, then you need to switch the repeater to two ticks of delay. So one problem with this new design that I have is that it only works when you're facing north and south. Uh, so as you can see right now, I'm facing south and that's what this line does and then now I'm facing north and that's what this line does and So actually on these two ends here. I have the original design and but since it's only two uh, Pistons it doesn't get stuck luckily um, Because the in inconsistency doesn't uh, matter for those two pistons luckily uh, so the two on the end there and the two on the end there um, I just have the original design and the uh, reason I, for that is that in this new snapshot this monostable circuit that I have set up doesn't actually activate pistons when you're facing west or east so you can see here um, 
that's not pushing the piston but if I were to build the same thing facing in uh, a north or south direction here so I'll just build that quickly here and press the button it you can see it activates that piston for that one tick but here it doesn't activate it and it's the exact same thing there's nothing affecting the piston in any way other than the direction it's facing so I have uh, instead this design here uh, so again let me just take the coordinates off quickly um, it's very similar you still have that monostable circuit but you just need that one tick repeater here to actually carry the signal into the piston and so I have that here unfortunately that makes it even more expensive than the original design but again if you're going for something that's going to work every time um, very consistently I mean it brings me all the way through no issues I've been testing for about an hour now and it works every time uh, so again it's simple to build it's just it's more expensive and um, it will work facing east or west uh, so again I didn't need to do that over here since I only had those two pistons um, I just kept it this way because the inconsistency with the original design didn't affect it for the two pistons uh, but if you were to build a long strand facing east or west you would want to have this uh, design here to make sure that it would work every time because I tested the original design here facing east and west and it had the same issue that it did facing north or south and I'm hoping that Mojang keeps this feature in where it pulls people through or players through the piston it is a new thing to the snapshot and as you guys know snapshots aren't necessarily the most um, are the best indication of what's going to be in the final release of a Minecraft version uh, but you know we can hope that maybe this will be a uh, feature in the next update because it brings about many interesting possibilities Etho uh, again the youtuber I described in the beginning who makes great Minecraft videos and redstone videos so if you haven't seen them you should definitely check them out uh, he built a very compact uh, vertical elevator uh, using this same principle um, and it was very quick and very consistent so I you should definitely check that out the only reason I wanted to make this is because his horizontal uh, sidewalk was not consistent um, and he admitted himself he was having issues with it uh, leaving him stranded halfway through so anyways I know this was a bit uh, long-winded and uh, I rambled a bit but I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did feel free to leave a like if you didn't feel free to leave a dislike comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos and as always guys have a good day